statement on what it means to be on the poster this year? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I mean, that's something I've been looking forward to uh, for a long time, you know, coming in, you know, four years ago now, uh, you know, seeing all the older guys on the poster. It's kind of a it's a statement to like, you know, the time that I put in here. And uh, yeah, it's exciting to see that. And you're old. Yeah, and I'm a, I'm an old man now, so at least in terms of the NCAA, so. <laughs> but yeah. Well, you come off kind of like breakthrough cross country season for you, and you yeah. had a little bit of work in uh, Austin. Mm -hmm. You kind of shut things down for a little bit. How excited are you just kind of get back? Yeah, I, yeah. Like I said, this is the longest I've been out for um, a, a racing period, I guess, since I did uh, shut down my indoor season. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to get back, uh, to get back out on the track uh, on Saturday. Um, I should be opening up with a 1500. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna kind of you know bust the rust off and just you know see where we go from there. Um, but you know we got back-to-back -back weekends of competition. Um, we'll be heading to Stanford right after. Um, so I think this will be a good tune-up, um, and then we'll kind of get you know rolling into the season. So got, got a lot of young guys making their debut this yeah. weekend. How are, we, how are they feeling? How are you guys feeling? Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of young guys uh, making yeah, their first uh, outdoor debut for the, for the Ducks, and uh, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of speculation about you know at least from the outside about like oh what's going to happen where are guys going to be at um, in our minds this is just kind of this is just the first step in the process um, we got a lot of meets ahead of us a lot more to prepare for this is kind of I don't want to say we're treating this like a workout because we're not this is definitely a racing experience. Um, but given the time of year, I don't think um, there's too much pressure on any given person. Um, and I don't think any of our guys should, should see it that way. And I don't think they do. I think coaches prepared us well for that. So, How important are these early season racing experiences? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's something that I think uh, was key for me, especially as a, as a young athlete. Um, so I know a lot of the guys uh, really appreciate, you know, you know, being able to just come out here and, you know, uh, not have, you know, necessarily all the cameras pointed at them just kind of you know enjoy the process enjoy racing again um and then yeah they kind of get into the flow of things and then we get to those bigger meets where we got you know incredible competition you know up lined up against us uh and then you know we can really perform so you know you mentioned that you're the old guy in yeah. the room now you know what's that experience been like and what do you see in, in this young group of, of runners that are here now well, it's very interesting. Like I, I couldn't have expected how different the team would look, um, you know, two years ago to now. Um, but I, I'm really excited with the way that uh, uh, Jerry continues to recruit. Um, we're getting guys in that have um, a different mentality than, you know, previously in my mind. Um, just in the way that they carry themselves at practice, um, the transition from high school to you know college is never easy. I don't care who you are. Um, and it shows with, you know, a lot of the freshmen in the NCAA. Some few, you know, a few of them can do it now the freshman year, but a lot of them have, you know, a learning curve. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, I think in the coming years, we're going to have some some serious talent coming up and there's going to be a lot of names that, you know, are really going to draw eyes to the University of Oregon again. It's interesting to see how there's only three meets this year on the schedule. Here. Yeah. Uh, how are you going to take advantage of that mm -hmm. with just I guess not as many opportunities. Obviously, the yeah. NCAA's would be your senior day meet yeah. if you were able to qualify. Yeah, uh, there there are less meets at Hayward, um, and I think a lot of that has to do with yeah we we've just got to go where the competition is, and a lot of times that's Southern California or you know somewhere in California. Um, something about racing there draws people, um, and I understand it. I remember last year racing it in LA and um, other places like that. Brian Clay. And, um, there's just uh, there's an environment with it, and there's a there's a level of competition that's just different over there. Um, but I would say we're definitely taking advantage of you know, you know, hopefully getting guys to to nationals and uh, um, you know, just seeing where we go from there because we have that home field advantage that other people don't. So. What is this week like for you guys? Maybe as someone that's been here a while, it's been different, but it's the week of the first home meet, but it's also finals week. How do you balance yeah. that student, yeah. student athlete life? That's always been the case for us uh, in like, it seems like every season where it's finals week, right, as you know, nationals are rolling around because we're on a quarter system. Um, so it is a bit stressful because yeah, you're, you usually got final, final papers and final exams that are, you know, sometimes the same day as your race or, you know, it's just, yeah, it's kind of a pain, but uh, we're, we, I'd say, you know, all of us are balancing it well. Um, a lot of people are, you know, I don't think we have too many procrastinators on our team. Uh, people are getting stuff done. I know if I ever have something due at the end of an exam week and I can turn it in early, I'll, I'll do that because yeah, I don't want to have to be stressing about anything academics related um, when I've got, you know, a huge race coming up, so. Does that 800 meter 
Pac-12 title feel like forever ago to you? <laughs> yeah, and uh, now that you mentioned it, yeah, that that was ages ago, especially with the way that the team has changed since then. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping, uh, you know, since I came off a of red shirt last year, um, that was my last outdoor season that I competed with the Ducks. So uh, I'm excited to get the uniform back on and, and race some outdoor meets here and uh, hopefully get another one. So How does the team feel, obviously, with the Huskies winning the Pac-12 title last year? Maybe yeah. a long streak. Yeah. Are you guys hungry for something this year? What's what's yeah. the outcome for Jerry's well, yeah. for you guys? Definitely. I think we've got our, we got our, uh, we got our sights set high um, for... I guess the last Pac-12 meet ever. Um, I'm not sure who we're going to be lining up at Pac-12s. I'm not sure what that's going to look like. I'm not sure what UW is looking like right now. I haven't really been looking at you know how strong they are compared to last year. But I know last year we came in um, kind of knowing that yeah we're just going to have to kind of take this hit. And yes, we're going to ruin the streak. But at the same time, like um, it's something that had to be done, and it was um, in order to you know build for you know the years following. Um, so I think coming out this year, if we've got guys rolling and we've got guys healthy, um, there's no reason why uh, that Pac-12 title won't come back to us, especially in the last year. So.